नमस्कार टुडे वील स्टडी कर्टिकोस्टेरएड्स एंड दिस कर्टिकोस्टेरएड्स आर सिक्रेटेड फ्रॉम द एड्रेनल ग्लैंड द कॉर्टेक्स ऑफ एड्रेनल ग्लैंड एंड अगेन दिस एड्रेनल कॉर्टेक्स हैज थ्री लेयर्स जोना ग्लोमेरुलोसा जोना फैसिकुलाटा एंड जोना रेटिकुलाटा जोना ग्लोमेरुलोसा इज द आउटर लेयर मिडिल लेयर इज द जोना फैसिकुलाटा दिस इज द मिडिल लेयर and uh, zona reticulata is the inner layer so from this middle layer of uh, adrenal cortex that is zona fasciculata glucocorticoids or corticosteroids are secreted by the action of one anterior pituitary hormone called adrenocorticotrophic hormone or acth or corticotrophin so the the hypothalamic factor which regulates the release of this corticotrophin is called corticotrophin releasing hormone or corticotrophin releasing factor so hypothalamus releases corticotrophin releasing factor which acts on anterior pituitary to secrete acth acth acts on the adrenal cortex uh, the middle layer zona fasciculata to secrete the glucocorticoids or corticosteroids like cortisol so when there is increase in uh, cortisol level it will send negative impulses to anterior pituitary and hypothalamus now this uh, uh, glucocorticoids or uh, this uh, steroid uh, uh, steroids act on the steroid receptor which is located in the cytoplasm and it shows its action inside the nucleus so this glucocorticoid receptor is located in the cytoplasm and first the glucocorticoid needs to bind to a carrier called corticosteroid binding globulin and uh, this corticosteroid binding globulin uh, helps in uh, uh, influx of glucocorticoid into the cell and now in in the cell the glucocorticoid binds to the glucocorticoid receptor which causes the homo dimerization so there is change in the conformation of the receptor there will be dimerization homo dimerization and now uh, this complex uh, receptor complex will now bind to the glucocorticoid responsive elements and induce the synthesis of your transcription factors so there will be gene transcription the mrna will be produced and the specific proteins will be synthesized or inhibited so if there is stimulation of gene transcription the protein should be synthesized and if there will be inhibition of gene transcription then they will be inhibited so that will lead to your cellular response and what are the cellular response number 1 it promotes metabolism gluconeogenesis protein catabolism lipolysis all these things so the uh, enzymes involved enzymes are basically proteins so all, all those enzymes either may be uh, synthesized or there will be inhibition based on requirement then glucocorticoids increase the resistance to stress it alter the blood cell levels uh, eosinophil basophil monocytes lymphocytes are decreased erythrocytes platelets neutrophils are increased it has anti inflammatory action it stimulates lipocortin which inhibits phospholipase a2 it also inhibits expression of cox2 gene it inhibits the generation of cytokine and other inflammatory mediators let us see that so phospholipid uh, usually pip2 phosphatidyl inositol diphosphate which is located on the cell membrane and by the action of phospholipase a2 produces arachidonic acid now this arachidonic acid by the action of cyclooxygenase cox produces prostaglandin this cox may be of two types cox1 and cox2 cox1 is constitutive cox2 is inducible so during inflammation uh, this cox2 is induced and cox1 is always present so this uh, leads to your production of uh, prostaglandins and prostaglandins cause your inflammation so corticosteroids inhibit the cox gene expression so inhibits the messenger rna production and inhibits the production of cox the cyclooxygenase or the uh, cyclooxygenase enzyme so enzymes are basically proteins so that proteins they, these proteins will be absent because of cox inhibition of cox gene expression Co- corticosteroids also stimulates lipocortin which inhibits phospholipase a2 
so that there will be no production for electronic acid so there will be no prostaglandin no inflammation so in this way corticosteroids act as anti inflammatory drugs corticosteroids also alter other hormone levels like it increases growth hormone and it decreases the thyroid stimulating hormone corticosteroids increase the gastric acid secretion so corticosteroid if used for long term can produce your ulcer corticosteroids also cause osteoporosis myopathy so these will be the side effects of corticosteroids corticosteroids can be given by all routes uh, so oral intramuscular intravenous aerosol topical uh, that is your ointments in all the routes it can be used so all corticosteroids can be used orally some like cortisone and deoxycorticosterone triamcinolone can be used intramuscular dexamethasone hydrocortisone prednisolone methylprednisolone can be used both intravenous and intramuscular beclomethasone fruticasone flunisolide triamcinolone can be used as inhalation or aerosol in case of treatment of asthma because asthma is again an inflammatory condition then topically in the form of ointments you can use beclomethasone dexamethasone hydrocortisone triamcinolone so these are all the different routes of uh, corticosteroids so the disorders associated with corticosteroids can be divided into two groups either hyposecretion or hypersecretion of glucocorticoids due to several conditions so hyposecretion of glucocorticoids now we can see if we, we have seen that uh, glucocorticoids are secreted from adrenal cortex so if there is any fun, the dysfunction of adrenal cortex this is primary so uh, adrenal cortex is stimulated by acetates which is secreted from anterior pituitary so if anterior pituitary dysfunction occurs that is secondary and hypothalamus uh, releases a factor which acts on anterior pituitary so if hypothalamus is dysfunctional then it is tertiary so primary uh, we have three conditions primary adrenocortical insufficiency that means adrenal cortex dysfunction secondary adrenocortical dis- insufficiency pituitary dysfunction or anterior pituitary dysfunction tertiary adrenocortical insufficiency that is hypothalamus dysfunction so in these uh, the, these three conditions we can call as hyposecretion of glucocorticoids this primary adrenocortical insufficiency is also called as addison's disease then another condition called congenital adrenal hyperplasia in this condition there is enzyme defect in the synthesis of adrenal steroids and there is uh, there will be at least your overproduction of adrenal androgens in females so this is another Uh, disorder so when, when there will be hyposecretion of glucocorticoids there may be overproduction of adrenal androgens in female then disorders due to hypersecretion of glucocorticoids uh, this disorder is known as your cushing syndrome and mostly it is pituitary dependent and or there may be a um, adrenal tumor so <clears throat> this uh, uh, to diagnose actually the cause whether pituitary dependent or uh, due to adrenal tumor we can use one test called dexamethasone suppression test so when we use dexamethasone as as we have discussed when there will be increased uh, uh, secretion of cortisol it will send negative impulses so there will be no release of uh, acetates from Uh, anterior pituitary no release of corticotropin release factor from hypothalamus so in this way when we give dexamethasone the steroid it will cause uh, uh, ne- negative it will send negative impulses to anterior pituitary and hypothalamus and there will be no release of your cortisol so there will be it will suppress if we give dexamethasone it will suppress cortisol because of this negative feedback mechanism that's why we call it as dexamethasone suppression test if we suppress cortisol so if the, it is pituitary dependent then dexamethasone suppression test uh, from this test we can diagnose because there will be decrease in cortisol level in the plasma suppression of cortisol will be there so <clears throat> we we can conclude that the cushing syndrome is pituitary dependent otherwise it is uh, due to an adrenal tumor 
So the uses of uh, corticosteroids, we can use uh, corticosteroids as a replacement therapy. So hydrocorticosterone can be used in case of your primary or secondary or tertiary adenocortical insufficiency. So this primary adenocortical insufficiency is known as addition disease. And we can also use it in congenital adrenal hyperplasia. We can use uh, dexamethasone suppression test for diagnosis of Cushing syndrome whether it is P2-dependent or not. Then corticosteroids can be used as anti-inflammatory drugs in conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and uh, the inflammatory conditions of skin. We can use them as anti-allergic and anti-inflammatory in bronchial asthma, uh, in allergic rhinitis, uh, drug allergy, in transfusion allergy, in any allergic condition as anti-allergic drug also we can use because of their anti-inflammatory action. Then another use of uh, corticosteroid is we can use them in premature infants uh, to accelerate the maturation of lung. So we can use beclomethasone uh, uh, intramuscularly to mother. Uh, so this is given to mother for uh, acceleration of lung ma maturation in premature infants. So beclomethasone int intramuscularly can be given to mother. The first dose can be given 48 hour prior to birth. And second dose can be given 24 hours prior to delivery. So the side effects of uh, corticosteroids are osteoporosis, increased risk of infection uh, because there will be uh, immunosuppression. So there will be also impaired wound healing, increase in appetite, emotional disturbances, hypertension because of edema, peptic ulcer, uh, glaucoma, hypokalemia, hirsutism, development of your uh, uh, hairs in the face of uh, female, then it also increases blood sugar. So lot of side effects are associated with uh, mm -hmm. corticosteroids. So this is all about our corticosteroids. Uh, now just uh, di let us uh, discuss about some drugs opposing the actions of corticosteroids. Two types of drugs are there. One is the drugs which inhibit the synthesis of adrenal steroids like metirapone, aminoglutathimide, ketoconazole, trilostane, spironolactone, uh, eplerinone. So all these drugs can be used in Cushing syndrome. And second group compete with glucocorticoid receptor. Uh, the uh, drug is uh, mifepristone. So this is all about the corticosteroids. Thank you.